Join us now for an insight with Carl Summer. In writing I Am a Lion, I wanted to show children the importance of accepting and understanding who they are and to listen to their parents instead of their friends. One of the greatest temptations children will encounter is peer pressure. Many children fail to understand what happens when they listen and follow negative peer pressure. In I Am a Lion, it wasn't that Sangu wasn't listening. It was that Sangu was listening to his friends instead of his parents. There are consequences when one doesn't listen to sound advice. Sango didn't want to learn how to hunt and to learn how to read the sky like a map because his friends didn't have to. It's important the type of friends our children associate with. As a parent, I was always concerned about my children's friends. There's an old adage, show me who your friends are and I'll show you what kind of person you'll become. Sango didn't want to learn. There are consequences for not listening and learning. As an example, when the rhino attacks his mother, Sangu runs away and gets lost. Oh, how I wish I would have listened when Mama tried to teach me to use the sky like a map, Sango wails. But it's too late. One cannot go back in time. Children need to be taught there are consequences for their decisions. But in this story, Sango's troubles are just beginning. He didn't listen to his parents but he did listen to his new friends. When Sangu saw a snake, he was glad. He had something to eat. But there came a quick warning. Don't eat that. It will make you terribly sick. Instead, a gazelle told Sangu to start eating grass. Can you imagine a carnivore like a lion eating grass? And this may be your children with so much potential and so much opportunity yet they settle for the least in life because they make the choice to follow their friends. Children must learn to deal with peer pressure just like Sangu. The gazelle scolded him when he acted like a lion and climbed a tree. They laughed at him for the way he looked. They rebuked him for trying to protect them. They insisted, you got to act like us. But Sangu is a lion and they wanted him to act contrary to his nature. Many people walk around in life with self-imposed chains of inferiority. Nobody put those chains on them, they put them on themselves. Teach your children never to be ashamed of who they are. Some people are ashamed of their race, their language, or their accent. It's foolish. You can't change it. As parents, we've got to teach our children to accept things they cannot change. In I Am a Lion, Sangu was defeated when Papa and Mama met him. He hung his head in shame as he walked along with them. Why am I always doing the wrong things, he asked. And why am I so funny looking? My legs are short, but my feet are big. My body is small, but my tail is... Stop! Right there! roared Papa. <laughs> Papa looked straight into Sangu's eyes. Sangu, you're not a gazelle. You're a lion. Then Papa and Mama instructed Sangu, Parents, that's your job. Train up your child in the way he should go. Each child has that iron inside that has great potential for leadership. Build them up, encourage them, create in them a good, strong personal foundation for what they can accomplish by having a strong character and a good work ethic. Try to get your children to discover these truths on their own. Ask thought-provoking questions when you read these books to your children. And check out the Character Kids song for this book. Be happy with who you are. You can reinforce the values in this book with your kids while enjoying the sounds of the Serengeti. Parents, you're the countermeasure for the negative peer pressure your children encounter. Today, too many parents have yielded to the social pressure of letting their children do whatever they want and their children will reap the consequences. I challenge you to be the role model for your children. Use the story of I Am Aligned to teach your children the principles that they need to become successful.